Hi, Mr. Danny here with a chemistry lesson for today on organic chemistry, alkanes. And for those who were wondering, I am wearing a chemistry shirt. I wear them periodically. Let's go to the lesson. Let's talk about the alkanes. The alkanes are homologous series. They're a family of hydrocarbons. They have the general formula Cn to H2n plus 2. That means the hydrogens are going to be twice the number carbon atoms plus two more. These families uh, of hydrocarbon compounds have single bonds only, and they're also known as saturated hydrocarbons. They have all the hydrogen bonds you could get in there, all the single bonds you get in there, and all the hydrogen atoms you could get in there. Uh, first is methane. Meth is the prefix you get from reference table P. If you look at reference table Q, you'll find that this is an alkane, all single bonds, and has the right general formula, therefore it should have the A-N-E ending. All alkanes end in A-N-E, like methane. Methane is one of the simplest hydrocarbons. It's a big component of natural gas from swamps. Then we have C2H6. Uh, I've left off the hydrogens, but they're understood to be at the end of each of these single bonds. And that's ethane, C2H6. Prefix for three is prop, P-R-O-P. You get that from reference table P. It's all single bonds, so it's propane, C3H8 propane. C4, how many hydrocarbons, how many uh, hydrogens do you expect? C4, what's the general formula? 2N plus 2. If I take that 2N plus 2 for C4, it's going to be 2 times 4 is 8, uh, plus 2 more would be C4H10. And that's what fits all these. You got 4 above, 4 below, and 1 on each end. That's butane, C4H10. And C8 is octane, uh, all single bonds. What's going to be the number of hydrogens? If it's an alkane, it's 2N plus 2. That's 16, 2 times N, plus 2 more. 16 plus 2 is 18. And alkane is a long, or in this case, 8 carbons. Count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They don't have to be in a straight line, but when you're counting carbons, you can't double back. You go down a particular direction, but you can't go backwards. So counting these, it can be a little bent like this. It doesn't have to be a straight line. This is octane. C8, H18. Octane is the uh, hydrocarbon that's used for rating gasolines. Just a quick tip about drawing structural formulas. Structural formulas where you show all the bonds, um, have to comply with honk. I know we went over this with bonding, but honk, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, represents the uh, element symbols. And if you write them in order, H-O-N-C, and then think of counting off left to right, one, two, three, four, that's the number of bonds. Hydrogen always has one bond. Oxygen always has two bonds. Nitrogen always has three bonds. Carbon always has four bonds. So if you look at a structural formula, to draw it properly, there better be four dashes, four bonds around each carbon, which is um, shown correctly here for octane. And the hydrogens all only get one bond associated with them. They're usually drawn at the end of that dash. Uh, along the carbon chain, you can see the carbon chains are held together by lots of uh, bonds between carbons. And that's what keeps the whole string of this long compound going together. Um, you can get very large compounds, but the main thing about drawing structural formulas is comply with honk, H-O-N-C, one, two, three, four bonds. And um, you should also be aware that each bond, each dash represented here, represents a pair of electrons. That's a covalent bond with a pair of electrons represented by each dash. Two electrons for a covalent bond.